All right, what is the difference between IIoT, digital transformation, and Industry 4.0? Take zero. <laughs> this is a very, very, very common question, all right? And I'm gonna try and answer this in four minutes or less, okay? I'm gonna try and give you the concise answer. So we have IIoT, which is the industrial internet of things. We have digital transformation, and we have Industry 4.0. What is the difference? All right, it's very simple. Industry 4.0 is the movement, it's the time, it's the, it's the place we are in time, okay? It is the movement. We are experiencing the fourth industrial revolution. And it really started about a decade ago, but it got its real legs in the last five years. When every time you hear Industry 4.0, and you wanna know what this means, Industry 4.0 is simply that we are in the fourth industrial revolution. The third industrial revolution was automation. Automation created data. The fourth industrial revolution is about translating data into information, okay? Digital transformation and IIoT are mechanisms used to turn data into information. So Industry 4.0, it's the movement, it's the place and time. That's what I4.0 is. What is digital transformation? Digital transformation is simple. It is the digitization of your business from paper and sneaker net to no paper and unified. What that means is, is all the places in your plant where you're printing out reports a day later, where you are sending out interns with clipboards that have rows and every 15 minutes they're collecting data out on the field. All of that stuff becomes digital and unified in real time. That's what digital transformation is. Digital transformation is taking all the paper, the data silos, and turning it into a digital front end that is completely unified in real time. That's digital transformation, okay? So the idea that I may have a, a shift report or a shift meeting at 8 a.m. on the plant floor, everyone's huddled around, and they're talking about all the performance numbers from the previous shift and the new targets for today. A digitally transformed business would have gotten that report when the previous shift ended, and they would have come in on their terminals, on the machines, with their new targets set for them. There's no reason to have a 15 to 30 minute meeting going over that data. That's a digitally transformed business. IIoT, the industrial internet of things, is the simplest concept of all three of these. Industrial internet of things is all about getting the information that every single consumer needs in their hands when they want it. That's the industrial internet of things. The best example of the internet of things is your cell phone, okay? My entire life, is on my cell phone. I can talk to my kids, I can check my bank accounts, I can read the news, I can read email, I can invest, I can download recipes, I can do everything I need my whole life through a single terminal, shoot right? Content. Right, I can shoot content, I can find out where my kids are. I mean, we do that all the time in our family chat. The industrial internet of things is the same concept, but in the industrial capacity. That is, all data and information for all consumers equals available. Making this possible, the industrial internet of things, is a function of changing the way people currently do business. In order for us to digitize our lives, we all had to go with smartphones. Everyone needed a smartphone and everyone needed to sign up to have their personal data on their phone. I have to log into my bank accounts and all that kind of stuff. In order to successfully digitally transform a business based on industry 4.0 principles so that we can build the industrial internet of things, businesses and organizations have to sign up for that. In order to sign up for that, they have to do things like, you know what, we're gonna have to change some of these old, ridiculous security policies we have in place so we can allow the emergence of our information technology, the stuff in the ERP, with the operational technology, which is the stuff that's in your SCADA, MES, and PLC systems. So anyway, what is the difference between IIoT, Digital Transformation, Industry 4.0? There you have it. Industry 4.0 is the movement, it's the place of time. Digital transformation is the process. Internet, the industrial internet of things is the result. Some of the big players might take that unified bit out of context. Do you want to elaborate on that unified piece real quick? Yeah, so when we talk about unified, we're talking about the unified namespace. So I, and, and what, what I mean is I organize, we organize our data the way that we access it, right? So that is, we generally use the ISA 95 standard, so it's the enterprise site area line and cell. And 
the, um, each of these, there's a place in the namespace for all of our data. There's so no data silos. There's no data silos at all. So if it lets, so for example. You're not using a unified software. I'm not using a unified software like Rockwell Solutions because Rockwell is not an industry 4.0 provider. They're, I mean, they tell you they are, they're not. Uh, it's amazing to me the number of people who will say, hey, you really should look at Rockwell Solutions. Trust me, I have. I've gone to Automation Fair every year. I ask all the right questions. When you say, hey, you should look at Rockwell Solutions, it shows me how little you know. It doesn't, it, you're not pointing me in the, in the right, direct, right direct direction. I've looked at the underlying technology of Alan Bradley's IIoT solutions or their MQTT support. They are not open architecture. Okay, number one, they are not. Number two, they are not truly unified. Okay, and number three, they are not going to support this. Unless you have all Allen Bradley products and all Rockwell products or all Rockwell partner products in your plant, you can't build this using Rockwell solutions. That, I mean, uh, it's the, it, literally what you're saying is if you sign up, you will have to sign up with Rockwell solutions. So uh, only Rockwell solutions, mm -hmm. only Rockwell solutions. That's and that, why that's, why, that's why connected enterprise is not on there. Uh, but the unified namespace is the idea that there's information at the line level that my SCADA system uses, and there's information that the MES uses, and there's information that the ERP uses. But there's also information that they generate. So the SCADA, might, the SCADA layer might generate alarm notifications or a list of the 10 most recent alarms on that specific line. Well, why do I have to go? I shouldn't have to just go to the SCADA system for that information. That SCADA system should put that inf publish that information back down into the namespace so another consumer can use it without them having to generate their own. Same thing with MES and ERP. So that's the idea with the unified namespace.